to another YouTube video. For any of you guys that are new here, my name is Levi and welcome to a full day of eating. So it hasn't been, I would say, that long since I've done a recent full day of eating, but since then we've dropped almost a thousand calories, which is a lot. So I'm eating different things now. It's a lot different than my other full day of eating. I know my other full day of eating wasn't different from the previous full day of eating, but now that we are so low in calories, things are really different. And I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything that I eat in a day, obviously full day of eating. Okay, so for breakfast, we're gonna be having something I would say that is similar, even though I just said that it's different, but it's still similar. There are some things that are gonna be similar, all right? But we're gonna be starting out with a half cup of oats. I also put some of the sugar-free Jello powder in there. That's like a hack I got from Eric when I was living in Texas. It's very minimal calories, probably like five calories at best because I don't even use a whole serving because you don't need a whole serving to get the flavor. Um, I also put a tablespoon of peanut butter in here and I'll also top it off with sugar-free maple syrup just because I want it to be that much more sweeter because I am just craving sweets, I guess. And then we also have two eggs. I don't know why I decided to make it like a flat omelet. And then we also have a golden delicious apple. No reason that it's a golden delicious apple. It just is. That's it for my breakfast. If you guys watch my other full day of eatings, usually my breakfast is a little more pristine. It's a little more better than this. But usually when you're trying to lose weight or get cut, I say that you know you usually have prison meals. So yeah, they probably won't eat this in prison. It's probably a lot nicer than they eat in prison. I don't know, I've never been. Let me know down in the comments if you've been. Calories and macros for this first meal is 481 total calories consisting of 21 grams of protein, 54 grams of carbohydrates, and 21 grams of fat. And that is that. This will also be our pre-workout meal as well. I'll go to the gym here in a little bit and be training chest today. And yeah, it's gonna be a sick session even though I'm losing a lot of my strength. So for our pre-workout, Supplements, I almost didn't know what to say there. Uh, we are going to be having some of the Transparent Labs Bulk Black pre-workout. Now, I mentioned about this in a previous video that the Bulk Black is a way, way better pre-workout than the other Bulk. If you guys have had the other Bulk by Transparent Labs, you guys know that the flavor just isn't quite there, but with this one, they just improve the flavor that much more. This pre-workout is one of the best tasting pre-workouts. It's also one of the best I would say working pre-workouts as well. That's one of the things people notice that Transparent Labs has really good effects in their pre-workout, but the taste just wasn't there. But with this one, they added the taste, so it's just overall a killer pre-workout. If you guys are interested, code Levi for 10% off. Also, I should probably add this because there are some calories in it. Um, in the morning, I also have some greens. I already had these right after breakfast. It's just the prebiotic greens. Uh, just helps with digestion. I also have some multivitamin vitamin D, oil, oil, and sometimes if I have like joint support, I'll have that as well. Um, that's it right now. So that's it for our pre-workout. We're just having some of this. I normally have coffee, as some of you guys know, because it's a little lighter in caffeine, but at this point, I just need something that's zero calories and I don't like black coffee. Yeah. So aside from like, you know, my full day of eating, we're still gonna stay on top of that, by the way. Um, I've changed up my training just a little bit because I just needed to coming into, I would say, the last final weeks of everything in the prep and whatnot. Just try to get my upper chest as built as much as I can, especially. So for this chest workout today, we're gonna start out with flat bench, obviously, because we also have the power lifting meet still. So we haven't stopped flat benching for like months now, which kind of, if you guys know me, I'm not a big flat bench guy. Like it is cool to move heavy weight. Like when is it not cool? But then we're also gonna go from flat bench to incline bench and then we'll finish off with some cables just to get more blood flow into the muscle and get it all pumped up and ready ready for what that is i honestly don't know it just really pumps it up and puts a lot of blood flow into the muscle
I don't know how many of you guys saw while I was doing an incline bench, me dropping the weight. So I also add a drop set to that and it kills. The reason I'm telling you is because it kills. It literally has my chest sore every single time. I incorporate that workout every once in a while. First time I ever did was when I had like the most improvements on my chest. Let me try that out. Uh, we're just gonna finish, like I said, with some flies. And we also have tricep stick. This today is a push day. And then we'll go have our post workout meal. Okay, so obviously we look like that. You know, we just finished up cardio, we finished up some posing. Um, I just figured I'd show you guys how lean we're looking right now. Cause it's also like a series, you know, like we're doing a full day of eating, but you know, we're also documenting everything that's kind of going on. So pretty damn lean, dude. Easily the leanest I've been, weakest, I, well not weakest I've been, but probably the fastest I've ever gone down in terms of strength. But yeah, I'm starving. my post-workout meal I just have a another bowl of proats I also mix in some of the sugar-free gel mix again just a little bit not every single time do I do it I was just feeling a little frisky day okay a little hungrier and then we also have a zero sugar Chobani vanilla yogurt the reason I have the zero sugar and zero fat ones because it's only 60 calories compared to the other ones like 130 and it has added sugar to it um, and then we also have a banana so not a prison meal because I feel like Maybe they have, see again, like if they have yogurt in prison, let me know if anyone's ever been to prison before. I hope you have it. If you watch my channel, you've been to prison. I hope like you're living a better life. I don't know why we're going deep into that right now. And then I also have a banana. Total calories and macros for this meal will be up on the screen. Um, this is probably, if not one of my favorite meals of the day. Normally like my post-workout meal is my biggest meal. Unfortunately, this isn't it. I don't think one of my biggest meals. I think it's actually one of my smaller meals now. Um, I usually have a lot or most of my carbs after my workout, which is actually, I would say, this is most of my carbs is right after my workout still, even though it's not a lot of calories. So this will pretty much be the rest of the carb for today, I believe, except for maybe a protein bar later. Um, but protein bars have like a net carb, so it's not the same. But yeah, this is it. Proats, yogurt, and banana. Excuse me. Um, anyway, so um, I'm going on a walk. I don't know why I say it anyway. Uh, so some of you guys don't know, I do three walks a day. So I'll do one in the morning for about, I would say 10 minutes. And then I do one right now for about 15 to 30 minutes. And then I'll also do one obviously after my workout, which is a strict 30 minutes. Um, so, you know, in total, I'm walking a little more than 40 something minutes a day, maybe even like 50 minutes. So yeah, that's some more of my cardio. Um, when I go and do my, when I go and do like my, I would say, what is this? Like a mid evening walk. It's like one o'clock right now. I also have a protein bar and I have an apple as well. The only reason I don't have an RX bar on me, cause that's what I would normally have. Some of you guys know, cause it's my favorite protein bars. Alani just sent me these just for fun and I don't want to go buy more bars if I don't have to. Everything's better when it's free. Uh, so yeah, we're just having a protein bar and an apple. This is like my go-to snack all the time. Calories and macros for it will be on the screen. If you guys are interested in those, cause I'm pretty sure you guys are. It's like very minimal calories, only like 200 something calories. Yeah, that's it for my little mid-evening snack. And Bean doesn't get any of it. This is the result. How long do we go for Bean? Dang, it's like you almost talked to me right there. She's all quiet, she's like, maybe like 30 minutes. Dang, Bean. That was a good hole. I'm gonna show you guys something really quick on my phone, just to show you guys how many steps I'm getting in for the day. Um, it's kind of ridiculous, like I shocked myself because I'm very fidgety. I walk around whenever I'm doing anything, like I just can't slow down. Um, so yeah, I'm just a very, up and going person, but um, anyway, so my heart rate's actually pretty low right now, which is kind of surprising, it's at 66. 
Um, so that's good. Um, I already walked 14,578 steps. Yes, that does include the treadmill. Um, if you guys are wondering how I calculated all of this, it's my Garmin Series 5 watch right here on my wrist. But yeah, I've been walking like no other dude. I walk more than freaking... I'm trying to think of a famous walking person and I just can't get one to come to mind. I was going to say I can run more than Forrest Gump, but I, I can't. What? I don't know where I'm going with this tangent. Prison meals, man. Prison meals. And... Mmm. I know you think that looks good, man. I know you think that looks good, but to everyone else, prison meals. I have like no nail. A few moments later. Alright, it's currently lunchtime. Bean followed me all the way upstairs as you could have guessed. I don't know why I needed to point it out. But anyway, this is literally 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 our lunch. So we got one can of tuna with some zero calorie mustard. It's the jalapeno mustard by the way. And then we also have a grilled chicken patty 96.4. Total calories and macros for this will be on screen. We also got some hot buffalo sauce from Frank's Red Hot. I put that shit on everything. I literally do now because we're on prep. Oh, that's, that's like I said, that's literally it. Prison meals, like I said. And I'm gonna keep saying this throughout the video. If you've been to prison, let me know how the meals are, if they're anything similar to this. I would say that this is the most similar one. Um, but yeah, so there's absolutely really no carbs for this. If there is, very minimal, like again. It'll be on the screen and you guys will get to see everything. Yeah, this is pretty much it. It's all, it's all like literally about the grind, man. Like I can't even really begin to say like how much food can really mess with your mind. I mean, it's been good in a way. Um, you know, it's been a distraction. I, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. It's just, I'm tired a little bit. I have a lot of energy today, but I slept a lot. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, I'm recording a prep journey too. So like kind of have to document certain things and just like my experience and whatnot. And you know, I'm doing a full day of eating and sometimes I think when I'm recording, I'm like, I show everything, it looks like everything's going great, but sometimes like things aren't going great, man. Like, they're going bad, like I'm not gonna just sit here and be like, oh my God, things suck, like my life's terrible. No, like my life is not terrible. Um, it's just prep is really tough. Um, some of you guys know, dealt with anxiety in the past, but I kind of know how to counteract that. Some of you guys don't know. Um, I'm always working on projects now um, my anxiety is usually caused when like I don't have enough going on. Um, I just have a high threshold for doing things and if not occupied with things it doesn't help but being hungry all the time kind of helps because my focus is on food. Um, yeah, by the way your brain is like that. It's always focusing on what it needs. Best sauce ever. Seriously, this is like some of the best sauce ever. Fortunately, it's 15 calories per tablespoon. We only use about like a tablespoon and a half. So not too many calories. I'll have to get rid of the sauce eventually, which is okay. So this is some of the best chicken breasts you'll ever have. I'm literally not kidding. If you guys have a Traeger, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys don't, a Traeger is basically a grill that has pellets in it. Um, it works amazing. If you guys don't have one, maybe one day invest in They're kind of expensive. I'll have to get my own eventually one day when I move out and whatnot because they are amazing. If not, still a grill works perfectly. I used a regular grill when we were in Alaska. The chicken tasted, I, I literally kid you, just as good. It just didn't have like an underlying smoky flavor to it. This is dinner and I'm also telling you guys how to cook your chicken breast because I know, I know when you first start out with this meal prep thing, I know how your chicken tastes out, man. It's like turkey jerky. It's like the most unflavored thing in the world. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick. You guys already watched my other full day of eating. I showed you guys already how, but anyway, uh, use this right here. It's this Memphis Pit barbecue rub. Put in a bowl, cut your chicken breasts into halves, and then pat your chicken breasts in the bowl with the seasoning and get them all lightly coated. And then toss them on the grill for 375 degrees for about 10, 12 minutes on both sides and they come out perfect. This is, like I said, the last meal of the day, unfortunately. Sometimes I'll also have my icy with dinner just because it's right before bed. And like I said, you know, going to bed, you know, hungry. And I never actually said that. I don't know why I'm saying it, like I said, but if you guys know anything about prep, going to bed uh, during prep sucks just because you go to bed starving and you wake up starving. So yeah, I don't know, it's tough, but sometimes I'll have that with me, but I don't today. But anyway, it's literally just one whole chicken breast or eight ounces of chicken 
with some sauce on it. The calories and macros for this are 220 total calories consisting of 44 grams of protein, two and a half grams of fat, and zero grams of carbohydrates, and that is that. I just don't know what to say. I'm like pretty locked in. I'm in that mode. I just had Ezra come over. He was like, bro, you seem pretty locked in. Um, I'm sorry if throughout this video I've seemed very monotone. Um, I've just been honestly tired, guys. Like, you know, seeing the meals I've eaten throughout the day. Um, it's been very tough. We're gonna go do a weigh-in though. I wanna show you guys my weigh-ins uh, at night and then compare them to the morning. Just to give you guys a rough estimate of where I'm at, you know, with the show coming up. Was my morning weight. So, zoom in, zoom out. Okay, there we go. So in the morning, I was 74 point, what was that? Four or five kilograms. So ask me why it's in kilograms. It's just the scale that I have. A company sent it to me for free, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna go out and buy a scale if it's just gonna, you know. God, I, I can't even think what I'm gonna say. I'm having a brain fart here. You get the point. I'm just not gonna buy another scale if I have one that's free, even though it's not gonna switch to pounds because I can just, you know, translate that over. Um, but anyway, yeah. So that's how much we're at right now. My starting weight was 181 pounds, which is roughly what is that like? 80 kilos or something like that 79 kilos so yeah that's where we're at right now and as you guys also saw my weight after you know the whole day of eating and I'm also holding the camera which is like a pound and a half or two pounds so probably around 75 kilos maybe 74 in the highs so relatively the same weight that we weighed in waking up so that's where we're at um, I also just got done posing that was I would say really just tough on its own it's stressful not really stressful tough to pose at night especially you know because you're thinking about going to bed you're thinking about food you're just really tired now if you guys have noticed i've been holding the camera very low this whole video i'm just a lot more weaker too just in general just fatigued um but you know we're grinding it out hope some of you guys are motivated and inspired you know i know it's just a full day of eating but i realize i really just got to kind of speak my mind more on camera rather than just kind of like oh this part of the segment of the video this part of the segment of the video i mean i always wanted to be a vlogger and inspire people and just take you guys through my emotions you know what i'm feeling how you know i'm doing I'm doing all right i'm excited for show day um and then you know we got the half marathon after which will be really exciting um but yeah that's it i don't have any more updates other than you know the show's coming up and the powerlifting meet is actually this week on the 25th so that's all really exciting stuff but yeah i hope you guys like this video um if you guys did be sure to give it a like and as always man this is a uh, pretty fast ending but anyway as always if you guys are new here do not forget to press the subscribe button and as always if you guys are new here do not forget to press the subscribe button because you guys know we'll be back just messed up my whole ending anyway as always die trying to do what you love the sky's the limit and being an eye see you in the next one